Hello and welcome to my very first video here on YouTube EN for the English speaking channel. And in this video, I want to introduce myself and my environment for the Symphony development. Yeah, and I want to start in this tutorial with a Symphony installation. Let's get started. Yeah, as I said before, this is my very first video here on YouTube and I hope that you can work with my language and that it's not too bad for you. And yeah, I want to start with a very simple symphony um, tutorial and with my Docker environment. So that's the basic tutorial for all of my upcoming videos, I think, for all the tutorials um, which are working with Symphony 6. So I started here in PHP Storm with a blank project. You see here that's a empty folder on my file system. And this tutorial will start with two parts. The first part is to get the Docker environment running. And the second part is to install the Symfony application. And I will introduce you which version I choose. So when we start with the Docker environment, there are several different images you can choose for a PHP application. But I made a very own image for, for myself and there are some better images I think but that's something I built up for me and it's um, working pretty good for me. So I work with this um, yeah, with this image, it's uh, hosted on gitlab.com. You can see the, the link below in the video description. And if you want to, you can, you can also use this environment and you can follow and code with me. So, yeah, the pretty basic one is to, to keep, to, to get this uh, thing running. So I click on the clone button and I take uh, this git um, address here. If uh, you don't have credentials and you don't have credentials, you have to choose the HTTPS protocol here. Okay, so I take this one, you take this one if you want to code with me. So back to my editor, I said before it's PHP Storm, it's uh, the newest version, I think I start my terminal here. And you see I am in this starting app folder. And in my in my setups, I start with two folders, one folder for the Docker environment and the other folder for the app. So at the beginning here, I can start with a git clone and then the address I copied before, and I want to clone this into the Docker folder. Yeah, and you see now it's cloning into the folder, and if I click here, this thing is appearing here. I have a Docker container, and then next to the Docker container, I want the app container. Yeah, so I make a directory with mkdir, and I name it app. So now I have the second folder next to the Docker environment. Inside the Docker environment, I have described this here also. We have to make some settings here. So we have this environment file, we can copy it and paste it into this folder and delete this dist postfix here. And then we have these little things to set up here. So the first one is the container name prefix. So maybe we can start it with a um, YouTube starting to it, for example. Um, that's what you have to set if you want to run some of this container next to the other. Yeah. So if you have more than one of this image running, you have to set this container prefix as a unique name. So then we have the path to the Symphony project. As I told before, that's next to the Docker container. So we have to go up in the directory 
here and then we have to choose the app directory. Then I have this path to the DB data, to the database data. We want to set up this a little bit later, but we can leave it, leave that as it is in the var and DB data directory here inside the Docker container. And then we have uh, some environment uh, variables for the um, DB data. You can leave this as it is. So we have a DB user name, which is called DB user. <laughs> well and we have a db password which is a db password and we have a database with my database so we have to keep this in mind for the later settings we we have to make but not in this tutorial so and i think that is everything we need to get this docker environment running so let's try this we have to change into the docker environment and for sure you have to um keep the docker environment here running yeah? the docker desktop here on the mac os it's docker desktop if you are using um, windows pc you have also the docker desktop running if you run this whole thing on the, the linux system you have to get the docker daemon running okay so and if i now in the change to the docker directory here we can start with docker compose up so now you can see that everything is starting fine and also the database it's a maria db is starting correctly you can see it is here maria db ready for connections so if we change now to our browser and we type in localhost localhost without any ports yeah, you can see that this server, the, the Apache server is still running, but we get this yeah, nasty forbidden page here. So that's why we 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 link into the app dot nay app slash public directory and that is not existing. Yeah? If I now make a new folder which is called public and inside the public folder I make a new file with the index HTML and I say here hello world uh, please subscribe um, and I save this and I we can now see that the uh, Apache server is up and running correctly and we can start with the Symfony installation yeah so let's start with the Symfony installation. I opened here the website of Symfony documentation. So I am here with the video tutorial so I can um, show you some things you maybe not understand with the, with the documentation. Yeah? But first check the documentation. I think the documentation of Symfony is pretty well written and you can maybe get the most of them from this what you need from from this documentation so we have here two different techniques to install symphony the first thing is with the symphony cli i don't like the symphony cli because i don't want to use the server and for me it's pretty useless yeah i like the normal way we are using php for itself like vanilla php we need the composer framework and here we can also use composer to create a symphony skeleton application like it's mentioned here and there are two different ways to make this application up and running the first one is to make a traditional web application and if you use this you make uh, two steps so you make a composer create project and you create a symphony skeleton project and after that you go into the directory and make a composer require web app and then everything you need for a web app is installing automatically so you get a twig framework and uh, some other stuff you need for traditional web application but for me i think it's better to start with a pretty empty project and let it grow with the needs you have yeah so i 
every time I start with this command here and I get all the things I need step after step. So if I need the template engine, I install Twig and if I need the um, database connection, I install Doctrine and so on for all other examples. And that's what I want to do now. So I go back to my PHP Storm and this this commands here and every command I use in the next tutorials, I will execute them on the Docker environment. Yeah? That's pretty important. Don't start any command in your command line on this host um, computer. Yeah? We change into the Docker environment and execute every command only in this container, okay? Because we want this closed ecosystem where we run our app and where we cannot destroy anything. Yeah. So, and if you if you see on my environment here, I don't even have PHP installed. Yeah. Because I have, as a freelancer, I have many customers with many different PHP versions, and I have to. Um, change the PHP version yeah, mostly for, for every customer and I don't want to install it on my host machine. So I have everything packed in this ecosystem of Docker and I also want to execute everything from there. So now we have to um, we have to execute everything inside the container and for that we have to see if our container is running and for sure we execute everything in this docker php apache container huh? because that's the container where php is living and where php is executed okay so we have a simple command that is called docker exec for execute and then interactive terminal yeah that's the flex the flex int then we need the name and the bash we want to execute. So that's for me the bash here. And now we are inside this folder here and you see the, the connection between this folder here, this app folder. Yeah, We mentioned this here inside this um, Docker environment and that's also set up here in this docker file yeah you can see here that i uh, wrote this configuration into the sites available file here and we are under var www.html and that's the connection here we are here inside this this html file this folder is linked to this app folder here okay you can see this if we make a list you see here the the public folder and i want to remove that folder because we don't need it anymore and now you see it's gone here also it's also here gone yeah maybe so if my english is too bad please write it into the comments i'm very happy if you can help me to improve my English. So, okay, um, now we have the empty folder. We need this empty folder for sure. And we can see that Composer is running here inside this container. I have installed this in the script here. You can see here, I executed the get composer command and the install command here. And I also have the Symfony CLI running here, but I don't use it, okay? So I, no, that was the wrong command. I paste in the right command with the composer create project symphony skeleton 63 star. Yeah, the stars for the um, bug fix version. So we want to have this kept uh, into into the symphony symphony. No, into the composer log file. Yeah. So, and we want this in this folder. So I give the dot and the dash that we have that installed here. And we see some files um, 
some some packages are installed now and i think there are so many packages with only the skeleton yeah and if you now run the web pack the web what was it called the web app you have a lot more yeah and that's why i want to start with this yeah with this uh, minimum installation here yeah and now we have symphony installed here we see the source folder with the kernel file we have the vendor folder with all the stuff which is installed now and we have the composer file with every dependency um, written down here and we can check if our local host is still running and yes our symphony 631 is running now and we are in debug mode now and you can see this page here and you can think that it's a normal page but it isn't a normal page if we look here inside the network if we yeah if i rerun the page you can see here it's red and if it's red it is called that's an error here and yeah we see here it's a 404 error that's the normal error page in the debug mode yeah if we switch the debug mode off or we change the environment to the prod environment we don't see this page anymore yeah that's a pretty basic tutorial and i think that's a good start for all the other tutorials which are coming next if you want and if you want to please subscribe my channel and give a thumbs up and that's keep me motivating to make more videos like this and with a real project i think if you want to if not then even not so take care and yeah i hope we see you soon bye bye